Hi there and welcome to the last tutorial where we are going to address another kind of physics. Okay, so we're going to address uh, particles. So we have a case where we're going to inject particles now. So we have this domain. Okay, so we have the flow and then the particle center. So we're going to look at how the dictionaries are modified, but the physics now is this that we're addressing. I really enjoy you now working with particles. So the first approach that I'm going to show you is the uncoupled simulation. That is, we first compute a flow simulation, we map the solution, and then we inject the particles, and the particles are going to follow that flow, but they're allowed to, inter uh, to interact between each other on the walls of the domain. But they do not modify the flow. The other approach is the fully coupled, okay? That is, we inject the particles at the same time with the fluid, the particles can modify the, the the fluid and the fluid and the fluid can modify particles and there is a full interaction between everything okay so this is the most expensive approach okay the fancier approach so just to show you this where i'm not going to talk uh, about the physics that that is something that we address in a completely different training okay so as you go to your training material and just let me go here. And the first thing is that we're going to talk about particles, okay? So my advice, as I already say, and probably you're already familiar, just look at this diagram or here, the user manual, what is the solver that you need to use? So in this case, now looking for particles, you have this one. Okay, so in the in open phone 10, the solver to do that, it was dense particle phone. Now that is the fully coupled approach, but then it was the particles using you know, the function objects and so on, or and another solver now. So this is the new library that we have, okay? The modular solver, and here you have a short description, but then here also you have a short description. So now that we identify that, we know that it's a simple modification that we need to do in our cases. So just to show you what we have here, so as you go into in couple, so the first case is we run the case just to get a flow field. Remember that first we get that uncoupled dynamic, that, that initial flow field. Okay, so I'm not going to run that. So this is a simple incompressible case. Okay, so as you go here, you will see that the only modification that we have here is this one. Okay, but what is interesting that I want to show you now, this transition to open phone 10, 11, it's not that difficult, okay? So the main differences are incompressible plus one keyword here and there, okay? But in this case that we have particles, there are some other changes, but it's not that much. But just to show you also that converting meshes for a step from external solver is pretty much the same. So here I'm converting the mesh from fluent and it works exactly the same, nothing new. So here is the one you can run the case. Everything is pretty fine. Okay, so we have already a solution here. So the next step will be going to this folder C2 where we're going to map the previous solution into this case and then we just inject particles. Just to show you that we have the map in here, and again, it's exactly the same as in open phone 10. I don't recall if open phone 9, it was the same, but pretty much it's a very easy transition, okay? So this is how we, we map the solution, nothing new. So now, how do we inject the particles in this case? So we have one couple, and in the meantime, let me go and run, and well, enter there. Um, before running. So folder zero is exactly the same. We go into constants. This is exactly the same. So we have physical properties, tolerance model and gravity, but we have cloud properties, okay? So I want to point out that here, there are a few differences with the previous version, version 10 is keywords, okay? And they change the names. Uh, notoriously is here in the injection that the, those keywords change. This one is will used to be different. The organization here is also used to be different how you, you define the distribution. Actually, previously it was something like this. So there are some small differences in this dictionary, but pretty much the, the structure, I have to say that is very similar. But I want to point out that here we have the physics is in couple, okay? So you have your flow solution, that flow solution you use to inject parti particles and the particles are going to flow that, follow that follow, uh, flow. Those particles, you can also enable the interaction between particles and the wall and so on. I'm not going to go into details, but the main gist here is that you have a precursor simulation 
okay and then the particles are going to follow that flow and they are not going to modify that but the important modification here is we go into system so everything here is, is exactly the same as the skin as the solution the important one is the control date so as you're going to control date look at that previously now the previous solvers i think it was open for nine or eight it was called like this very long name then in open from 10 is this one but now everything goes into modular sol solvers and this is how we define this remember this is on coupled dynamics okay by the way as you see here open from nine don't worry i need to update here <laughs> this so i need to take some time to put 11 there instead of nine or ten or whatever so see that as you said as the previous one then we declare solver is a solver is a function but the issue now is that particle flow now is a function object and then you have a sub solver okay so this function object is going to work in an incompressible fluid so in theory this can be used also for its compressible fluids and, and so on uh, i have to say that this is a little bit confusing because probably you're aware that there is a scalar transport solver uh, function object and the scalar transport uh, function object does not work in the same way or actually it works in the same way so you can also declare here function and then put it put the incompressor compressor or whatever and then declare the function object here so see that this is the structure with the particle so be careful about this one just for particle form and then to declare the function object this one you go here and you have the definition here so this is just a copy and paste and you are going to use uh, FB models. So now uh, all those particles enter as uh, FB models the same way as scalar transport, that is a fine uh, FB model. Okay, so trying to unify everything that way. So here's you, you, you will go here, you can look for that, and you will see that actually the particles, uh, let me see where we have particle. Okay, here you have functions. Okay, so here you have the description that it it replicates the behavior of particle phone, okay, and raw particle phone. So you can have you no know, incompressible and uncompressibles, and it's a function object. You click there and you have a description, okay. So this is the main modification, okay. I would say probably, I, I, I think you can put just solvent incompressible, unique, this sub solvent, and then when you have this function object, you will recognize that those particles. I don't know what they do it like that the developers probably aren't thinking something else but any case this is how it works you see it's very straightforward nothing new and then sb skins sb solution it's exactly the same remember that pieces doesn't exist and to run the case there you have these scripts now so you you have to do the mapping so just to show you what what is happening here and just to remind you that in this case you need a precursor simulation so you first generate the mesh then do ma you map you have here all the steps but when you map we're looking at the solution we have in the previous folder we map it in the current one and then we run the solver and to run the solver is exactly the same phone run here you have now there's the comment that previously was like this very long description and this is it okay so let me launch this one okay uh run all in Syria, you can run in parallel, and basically it's doing everything. And see that it's very straightforward; it works in the same way. And as you recall, the particle simulations you, you have there. So entering the mass, where the particles particles are entering, where what is going on, is they are bouncing or sticking to walls, or if they are reacting, is you have reactions. So recall the previous tutorial that we talked about reactions, or I mentioned I didn't show anything. So the same stuff, these particles can react, you can have combustion evaporation and so on. So things can be really, really tricky. So this is the case. Then you have the part of your folder there. In that part of your folder, you have some states to, to visualize the particles. I'm not going to talk about how to visualize that because it's a little bit tricky how you do the, the visualization of particles. But just to show you this result, low state. Okay, so let me open this one. Okay, everything has been already predefined. And this is what <clears throat> you should get. Uh, uh, uh. you see that we have the injection of the particles and remember very important we have an initial field and actually let me go and put here a cut plane let me put it there see that in this cut, cut plane what we have 
okay and it's nice but i don't see da, 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 da. okay i need to enable also as i say it can be a little bit tricky visualize now this this case there is a lot of stuff there i uh, still not accessing that information oh okay so let me delete here and okay let me put a couple and let me see if i get that feel no i'm not getting that okay it doesn't matter okay let me hide here so you have a solution but that solution we're not modifying the field the particles are just following that okay see here that we have the distribution by diameter okay and this is this is what is happening okay the dynamics the flow so this is something that we do in another in another training no uh, related to multiphase, so just to remind you in our web page, or, or we have you now the new schedule for the new training sessions. If you are interested, uh, so that's it. Okay, the particle phone that is the simple approach, and let's move to the next case. Okay, the next solver in order of complexity. So, this is the easiest one, as you see here. The next one is this that we have the full, fully coupled approach so this is using the mppic approach you know where the particles modify the flow and the flow modify the particles and all the particles interact between each other so see that the behavior is quite different from the previous one probably there are some similarities but see that we have a completely different dynamics here you have more models like gravity drag uh reaction uh, pyrolysis, whatever, you have many models that you can put there. So this is, as I say, something that we're addressing, something else in another training. So let's go and take a look what is happening here. So you can imagine that it is pretty similar as the previous case. However, here we don't need a precursor simulation. It's not compulsory, but it's one you can get it to speed up your computation. But remember that here the two physics are running at the same time, the flow and the particles. So all this setup is done here, okay? So you go here and, by the way, you need this three surface, let me cancel, okay. So as you go here, you have the case definition and see that the difference is here, true. It's a fully coupled, we're using this kind of solver. And as you go back to the previous case, you will see that we're, we were using another type. Okay, constant cloud property. It's a different tiny type. And here you have some comments about those types. And that's it. Okay, so just to remind you that here, um, uh, pa -pa 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 -pa, cloud properties here. There are slight differences between Open Phone 10 and Open Phone 11 in the keyword. So if you have a previous case, you will need to adapt that, but it's not a big, big of a deal. So this is a new difference here. Also, there are some differences here and how you define the distribution is a small differences. It's not big, big of a deal. So as soon as you define that, okay, you have all the physics contained there and you, you can declare all the models. You have many models. You just go here into control date and as we have done so far, form run. Okay, and I am in the run directory. Okay, so be careful here, MPPIC, I should, this one. And let me go here and see that we're running using incompressible dense particle flow phone. So as you go to your documentation here, okay, so we have particles and let me see here. So you have incompressible superseed dense particle phone. Okay, you have it there. And if you want the compressible one, is those reacting cases. So those are quite tricky, okay, but you have all the physics, okay? So this is the incompressible with no reaction, nothing. But then also those particles can react, can evaporate and so on. So it's like reacting particle forms and stuff like that. So here we're saying in the easiest approach. So you define it and the rest is pretty much the same. So that function object that we use in the previous one remember this function object this approach is only you want everything decouple here you have everything couple okay so this is very expensive and just to show you now to run a few iterations uh mppic okay run all parallel converting the mesh and so on and see that you have it there, very slow iterations. You have all those particles that are injecting, you are computing all the interaction, they are modifying the flow, the flow is modifying trajectories and so on. Okay, so this is what is happening. 
I'm not going to wait until the end. Uh, this probably takes like about 20 minutes. Uh, I don't recall well, but I already have a solution here just to show you. Okay, pad of phone, uh, build in. Okay, the post processing is a little bit tricky. Let me go. Use, I'm not going into details, but the post processing, I still I don't recall. I need to check if you can already do the post processing in parallel, but Paraphone cannot deal with the particles in parallel. So you, you need to reconstruct it. But the other way around is just put a function object to save the BTK, BTK fields or the insight. Okay, I prefer to use the insight fields. And you go here, okay, you have reconstructed. Okay, part of fun. As usual, I put there an estates in the part of your folder so you can open those estates and reproduce some figures. And that is what I'm going to do. Part of you, part of fun. And let me reproduce the state one. I don't know if it would work. I haven't opened this one, so I am off a script here. So. Okay, so some post processing this also is, can be a little bit time consuming. And uh, let's wait a little bit, but just to show you here, the simulation is just everything running is splendid here, lovely. Okay, so as you saw, see that I always like to put this minimum and maximum values. You have your CUDA, and, and here you have all your information regarding the the kinematics of the part. Okay, it's exactly the same as the previous case. Okay, here we have the fill okay and this is after five seconds and as you go at the beginning you press here and there you have everything evolving so remember that now as you start to plot also the colors in cut plane and so, so on you will see that this part of it will modify the flow so let me see if i can do that now here as i say it can be a little sometimes it's a little bit tricky to post process these cases uh, also hoping that my computer is not temperamental today so let me put it there okay okay now i see the field okay so see that in this case here i am able to see the field let me put it down so what i want to say so in the previous case is you plot everything you have a single field velocity the precursor simulation that's all so it's not being modified in this case both physics particles and let's say the Eulerian solution and the Lagrangian solution, okay, Eulerian will be the flow in the mesh and the Lagrangian will be the particles. They both are advancing and then you can enable you know, that interaction between each of them and so on. So this is what is happening, okay? So you might see that maybe you might think that these particles are not modifying the flow, but yeah, they are actually modifying, okay? The mesh also is quite quartz mesh, just to make it run and just to mention that here, if you look at the solution, for instance, in this case, and you will see that in, at one point, you know, kind of the particles will stick to the wall. So if you, you visualize that mesh later, you will see that the mesh, the boundary layer is quite thick. Okay, so the particles are smaller than the dim dimensions. So when they enter in those cells, they have the tendency to, to, to stick there because the velocity is, is zero. So these are things that you should consider, okay? So it's not only pretty colors, you need to understand the physics, okay? And probably this will be my main takeaway after all these tutorials now. So the first thing is the, is the main Modification in OpenFone 11 is control D that you need to use the modular solvers, but also very important, understand your physics. You need to know what you are doing. Otherwise, that will be nothing else that pretty colors and you are not got captured the main gist of the physics, what you are doing. So I think we're done with this case. Okay, I have nothing else to, to say. We cover many solvers here, okay. Obviously, we didn't cover all of them, but you get the idea how things work. So just identify your modular solvers. Okay, do the modification in control date. And sometimes some function objects may have some keywords that might change, but so far in my personal experience, not that much. It's something that I think 
uh, you will be able to find your way to, to update that. Uh, finally, I strongly recommend it to update to Open Phone 11. We have seen you know, a lot of improvement. There are some things that we don't like as usual, but there are very, a lot of things that we do like, and I think like probably 70% of those modifications we like, then we have another 30% that we don't like much. So that's all for this video. We have one video one more video but this is just a review of what we have done so thank you for your attention and i hope that at this point you know how to transition to open phone and we wish you a smooth transition to open phone 11 so thank you for your attention see you next time bye